So we are one year old as a church and it really has been an incredible year. I remember last year at this time getting ready to start the church and being so concerned about so many things and it's just been crazy how God's just worked every little thing out. From our venue to the people that, that we needed, God's just done everything that we needed to not only be born as a church, but to survive and to grow yeah. as a church. It was really cool just to see how God had set all that up. He was like, I'm with you guys. I, I, I put the dream in your heart. Not only have I put it in your heart, but I'm giving you the resources to make it happen. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into turning a place like the Varsity into a church or something that's kind of safe and family friendly right. at the very least. And um, you know, it's just been so much work, but I gotta say, like, it's all this amazing team that God has brought to us. We're blown away by how stacked our A team is and how willing to serve people are. So one of the amazing things about being at the Varsity Theater is even though it is a lot of work to turn a nightclub venue into a church, it's so worth it. We see people come in all the time who are like, man, the last time I was here, it definitely did not feel like this. You know, I really think it's a testament to the fact that God wants to move in all kinds of places. And we can't put limitations on God like buildings or certain, certain times even to meet. I believe that God wants to just meet with people who are hungry for Him. And I've seen that at the Varsity Theater. A lot of people will end up asking, hey, are you guys a student church since you are at the Varsity Theater? And our goal is never to be just a student church. Of course we want to reach students, but we want to reach people of all ages. And one of the really neat things has been that all kinds of families have come in and older people have come in and they've experienced the presence of God and God's changed so many lives right here at the Varsity Theater. A few months in, we had a prayer day where we walked all the way around the Varsity Theater and LSU campus and we prayed. I saw one of these huge oak trees and I just felt like God put in my spirit, this is what I wanna do with Anchor Chapel. But the way that one of these trees starts, you don't see this giant tree on the surface right away. This tree will put down deep roots and every oak tree, the, the massive oak tree that you see on the outside is really a reflection of the very, kind of a mirror image underneath the ground. So the strength of the oak tree is not just on what you see. It's not just the fruit, but it's the root system. And the truth is nobody's really impressed with roots. People are impressed with fruit. But I believe that God this year has been really setting some strong and deep roots at Anchor Chapel. God's brought some amazing talents, some amazing people. We can't wait to see what God wants to do next in our church. It was amazing to see how God really positioned our church through relationships and all kinds of different events that had happened before the shootings and before the flooding to where our church could make a difference and even yeah. join in with other churches and, and just see how like, man, we didn't set this up, but God had us come to the city for a reason. Yeah. And our steps had been ordered by Him and He had prepared us, He had prepared our church. Your, your messages in the, the preceding weeks were, were on point and we were like, our hearts were ready to do what needed to be done. Thank you for serving with passion and with joy. Thank you for set up and tear down week after week after week. Thank you, Anchor Kids, for serving in nursery, for serving our kids. Thank you for, for cleaning up the varsity with a great attitude, yeah. for getting your hands dirty without complaining. We're just so grateful for all that you do. And we believe that as a church, this will be an incredibly blessed year and for you individually as well. Thank you so much for being a part of it. We love you.